Hey Gemini, thank you so much for coming to your love reading. Just a couple of things. If you haven't already, please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you want to receive alerts for when I post my readings. There will be an extended at the end of the reading, which is um, available on Vimeo and also Patreon. So you have a couple of different choices. We go every over everything pertaining to your partner and kind of um, everything from like your partner's psyche. So it's, it's really a deeper dive into the emotional and mental process of your partner. So you can kind of understand the workings from the inside out. Okay. Um, also too, I am doing personal readings as you can see on the screen, a um, couple of different options and you can book on my website, aaftarot.com. All right, Gemini, let's just go ahead and get into it. Top energy, twin flame energy, bottom energy. This is somebody new that's coming in or like a newer energy. Sometimes this can be the same person, I guess. I, I don't know how, but sometimes it can be. Um, cross watchers, you may have to flip it. All right. How does Gemini right now, how do they view their current romantic situation with their partner, with their person of interest, with, with this top energy? How do they view their current romantic situation with this top energy? Okay. King of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Wow. Strength. And the Four of Cups. Okay. Let's see. Hopefully everybody can see that. How, how, how does Gemini feel about this King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles? The Ten of Wands. And the Ten of Swords. Okay. Gemini. For some reason, this King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, I don't feel like this is you. I don't feel like this is a relationship or a situation with you. I think that this is a situation or a relationship with somebody else. I think that right now is it is going to be a very challenging time or you're viewing the situation as very challenging because there's some type of commitment here that I feel is not you. It, it's some type of commitment that's almost overwhelming because it was a 10 of wands, 10 of swords, right? It's almost like you feel like there's some type of severe ending where things are not going to work out between you and this person. I feel like it's hard because you have such a connection with them that it's almost confusing because you want things to change. And for whatever the reasoning is, things aren't changing the way that you thought that they were going to change, right? Four of Cups. You're trying to be strong with the situation and I feel like you're really trying to balance yourself out emotionally right now. I just think there's certain things that are going on on the outside or the inside and I feel like you're on the outside I also feel like there, there there's a lot of like emotional trauma here for some reason especially with the four of cups I think that you're not getting what you want right now emotionally from this person and I think that you're starting to see that your imaginary conflicts or these imaginary things that you were constantly thinking about when it did come to this person that it was real right there was a committed relationship here. This person hid it from you. There's, And I'm saying that they hid it from you because right on top of these two, it's the high priestess, right? There's something shocking here that they hid, maybe over a child or over um, something, but there's some type of communication that's coming in here that I feel like is surprising that's shocking you, right? There's a level of truth here. There's a level of truth to a certain type of fantasy. And I feel like there's a lot of secrets that's been held between you and this person. And I feel like for you, Gemini, the entire time you tried to stay strong with whatever was going on. You tried to stay balanced in the situation and you really tried to have a sense of um, understanding. Four of Cups, Eight of Strength, a level of understanding with what this person was going through. But now I think that you, I think that you understand I think that you understand what they were hiding, right? I think you understand why there was never um, a committal type of energy. And I think it's because there's some type of situation here between this King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. I also feel like, um, Gemini, there's things that you protected as well, right? And... Even if this person didn't vocalize it to you, you still knew. You know what I mean? Like, that's the thing about Geminis. And I think that that's what's so challenging. And people get upset at Geminis all the time. But for a Gemini, you need to hear it. Geminis have to hear it. It can be black 
a black and white, right? Clear as day. It could be painted a, a mural of this person and somebody else, but Gemini is not going to believe it until this person, till they can physically see, okay, this person is with this person, or I'm, you know, I don't want this because of this. Until it's vocalized or until Gemini can physically see it with their own eyes, it's not reality. And I feel like for a period of time, you were living in this gray area, especially with the Four of Cups and the high priestess but the entire time regardless gemini you kind of knew that there was something weird you knew that there was something odd with this person because watch how does gemini feel about the page of cups i don't feel like it's a good thing the hermit it, it's something that you've been thinking about for for a perspective for, for a while and i think that it's having you search i think that it's having you look at things from a soul perspective and ask yourself like why did I not see this? But it's crazy because you did see it. Like there's a level of enlightenment coming with the secrets of this person and even maybe your secrets too, right? But there's a different vision of why everything's happened the way that it's happened. And I feel like it's a huge like, oh, wow, right? I feel like it's a huge judgment moment on what's ultimately stalled this connection and the relationship. What about this bottom energy? What about this bottom energy? How does Gemini view their current romantic situation with this bottom energy? Okay, seven of pentacles. So there's heavy Taurus energy here. So I just wanted to kind of throw that out there. So you have Taurus energy, you have the page of wands. So there's Sag energy, um, Scorpio energy, death. Okay, and the two of wands. So I feel like right now, for some of you guys, you may be talking to somebody, talking to somebody in, in, in hopes of getting into some type of serious commitment here with the Seven of Pentacles. Um, I feel like you're really trying to work hard right now on moving on and moving past and moving forward towards something very different. Because I feel like right here with death in the page of wands, I think that you're tired of not having a solid foundation. I think that you're tired of the non-commitment, right? The, the non-committal energy. I think that you're tired of always having to push forward and grow by yourself, right? I think, I think that you're really right now trying to manifest some type of solid situation. And I feel like you had to take a step back and really reevaluate your process and really reevaluate who you're talking to and why you're talking to these people. Why are you attracting these people that have no emotions, right? Why are you attracting unemotional people or people that are not emotionally available or people that have commitment issues, right? There, there's these things that I feel like, Gemini, you're having to take a step back and ask yourself. Because I feel like, if you continue to invest in the same thing, it's the same outcome, right? But I feel like because these two are directly in the center, I feel like this is ending this, this page of wands energy. And I do feel like, ironically enough, you have somebody who is willing to put the work in, who is willing to work for you. And now, Gemini, you have this two of wands Mars and Aries, where you can move forward. And I think for you, it's almost like, yeah, well, where do we go from here, right? There's Sag. So Sag, wow. The lovers and the Empress. I think that there's a lot of healing energy with whoever this person is. I, I, I think that this person is being very patient with you. I think that they provide you a sense of security or stability. I think you still go back and forth because it's nervous. I don't know why, but I feel like this energy down here, for those of you guys that are dating, you or you will be meeting this person. This person is different than I think anything that you've had before. This is somebody who is going to teach you something. This is somebody who um, has the patience to deal with you. And I feel like there is a potential here for a lot of love. You have temperance and the lovers, right? That's expansion. And also the empress. It's, it's expansion of love and growth. There's, there, there's something here where you are the divine feminine in this sense. And I feel like you're able to kind of take a step back from that emperor energy, from that masculine energy, Gemini, where you're able to tap into that other twin and say, okay, I can be feminine now, right? I can go ahead and take a step back and, and allow things to unfold. I don't have to be the one constantly driving this relationship or constantly driving the force of everything. And I feel like it's it's interesting because I don't know, I feel like this situation, you're wanting to work on it. And I think that for a lot of you guys, this this is gonna come out of nowhere. 
Okay, I, I, I think that you're not going to expect it when this person does come in, but I feel like this person is going to be very solid. What about this? Um, how does how does this twin flame energy, how do they feel romantically about Gemini? How does this twin flame feel romantically? Okay, we have the King of Swords, the Three of Swords, Strength, and the Page of Cups. I think that this person feels bad. I think that there's a lot of lies here. Aquarius energy, Libra energy, um, you know, Leo energy, and also the Page of Cups, so water energy. I think that this person is embarrassed. I think that this person um, has said certain things and has been very cold towards you and hasn't been necessarily honest on what they're working on. I think that this person has been very quiet. I think that they purposely prey on the fact that you need a level of clarity. FYI, my door just shut by itself. Hella weird. I don't know if you guys just heard that or not. But I feel like for this person, they feel like you're shutting them out. Like they feel like you're you're done done, right? Three of Swords. This is a lesson when it comes, this is Libra and Saturn or Saturn and Libra. So there is a huge lesson to who you are and who they are at a core level. I don't know why, but, but I get that. I, I think that they know that it's a third party situation. I think that there's a sense of betrayal here. I think that they tried to look at things in a very cold type of manner. And now I feel like they're surprised. There's something here where it's almost like they're surprised at what's unfolding. I also feel like too with strength, there's an undeniable connection between the two of you. I mean, it, it, it's undeniable. It, it's almost like a primal connection that's pulling the two of you together. But at the same point in time, it's like somebody here is being very strong-willed and, and really pushing against um, the connection. Nine of Wands, the Devil, and the Eight of Swords. Part of the problem with your connection with this person is that they do not understand what this connection is, right? When people don't understand a twin flame connection, it looks like a very toxic situation. And for sometimes it is toxic, right? Twin flame connections are not, you know, uh, rainbows and glitters and Disney characters coming out the forest. Sometimes it, they're, they're messed up situations, right? And I feel like with the devil here and the nine of wands, I feel like this person has purposely kept their distance from you because there's a level of fixation. And I also feel like they've been doing things that are not right. They are doing things under the table, right? Which is why they're keeping their distance from you and they're not communicating things. But they know that you're upset. They know that there's a level of anxiety. They know that they've caused you a level of fear because of the distance that they've put between the two of you right? That there's always these setbacks, moon and Sag. It's like this person wants you close, but not too close. The closer you get, the, it's like, oh, no, 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 you're too close, right? It becomes a level of fixation for them. And I feel like Gemini, when they're too close to you, it's almost like they can't process things. That's all they do is they think about you and they hyper focus or they hyper fixate. So this person tries to keep their distance. This person tries to keep things the way that they want them because I feel like this situation or this relationship with this person was unexpected and wasn't supposed to happen. So that's why they're always in their head with where is this going? That's why they hide their emotions. That's why they try to keep distance from you. That's why it's like they tell themselves it's a toxic relationship or it's a toxic situation. And for some of you guys, this is just sexual, right? This th this is just a very intimate, lustful type of relationship that has turned to something more, something that was unexpected. Sometimes the most beautiful things are unexpected, right? Like sometimes I feel like for some reason, you know, Gemini, I think that you're able to live in this fantasy world where everything can be what it is, right? But I think that with this person, they, they they don't view things or they can't process things the way that you do. What about this bottom energy? How did they feel romantically about Gemini? This bottom energy, how did they feel romantically about Gemini? Okay. Wow. The Wheel of Fortune. There's Sag energy. Ace of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. And the Six of Cups. Beautiful. So Gemini, I um, actually really like this energy. This, this is a very heavy energy up here. It's, it, it's, it, it's a, there's a level of heaviness up here 
with this person. I feel like the problem is, Gemini, when you've put up with the same shit over and over and over again, this person doesn't think you're going to change. And see, Gemini doesn't change because Gemini is scared. Well, once I cut that off, once I shut that door completely, right? Because Gemini, put it in the comments right now if you know what I'm talking about, okay? Once a Gemini shuts a door or says, yeah, fuck it, I'm done, no moss, I'm good, right? The moment that a Gemini does that, it's over. There's no chances. Geminis don't go backwards. That's why Geminis hold on to a person for a period of time because Gemini is scared that once I close it, it's done. And I feel like with this energy, Gemini, I feel like you're done. I feel like you're really, really, really close to being, yeah, I'm good. Thank you. Next. And it's crazy because I feel like Gemini's, for those of you guys that have shut the door and for those of you guys that are moving on or, or are getting to that point, you have somebody coming in or this person is already here and they're showing you something different. Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Six of Cups, right? Sixes are all about harmony. What is it harmonizing? Your relationships, right? There's certain adjustments and certain alignments that are coming in here where you're moving away from past conflicts into a level of solution, right? There's no stability here. There's no, there's no pentacles. When you don't see any pentacles in a spread, what that tells you is it's not serious. There's mind games, right? There is, I don't consider the, the devil pentacles, if you want me to be honest. I consider that wands, that wand type of energy, sword type of energy, but my point is down here, you have wands, you have pentacles, and you have cups. So you're moving past those conflicts into a solution. And I feel like you're letting go. And I feel like there, there is something where there, you're, you are overcoming it. With that being said, I do want to say this. The Wheel of Fortune is here. So this person feels like they're very lucky. They, they, they feel like you kind of came out of nowhere, okay? I think that this person, you may have met this person online or dating. I'm saying that because I have the Knight of Wands with the world here. You're very different than I think that what they're used to, okay? Whoever you're dealing with here, they, they view you as somebody very lucky. They view you as destiny or an opportunity for things to change. I don't know why, but I feel like your person has gone through a lot over these last like couple of years and there's something here where they feel like their luck is changing and that they do have a very solid um start with you right the wheel of fortune that's 10 it's really one so you have two ones and two sixes right it's a brand new beginning with a lot of momentum it's pure energy and i feel like it really is dependent on how you guys shape it because i feel like this raw and stable energy it's pushing you forward right jupiter is expanding what is it expanding the ace of pentacles your new beginning, right? Your new opportunity. This this is a reward, I feel like, Gemini. And with this person, they view you as somebody very serious. You and this person can have conversations where you talk back and forth for hours, right? There's something here where there's, there's not a level of boredom, I feel like, with this person. And also, there is some type of deep connection. This may be somebody from um, either a past relationship but I don't feel so I feel like this is a newer energy or this is somebody that you were with in a past life I feel like because there's definitely a soul connection here especially with the sixes how does this person feel romantically about Gemini bottom energy okay page of wands two of wands eight of wands I think that this person wants to move very quickly I think that they're trying to make a decision right now with what's the best way to approach it but I do feel like this is very quick moving. I feel like there's a lot of messages that are going back and forth where, where somebody's very curious about you, Gemini, curious with what you do, curious with how you manage things. And I do feel like there's something beautiful coming here. There, there's going to be a lot of clarity on, on, on some type of new situation or new relationship. Amazing. Okay. What's currently blocking Gemini in this top energy? What's currently blocking Gemini in this top energy? Okay, two of wands reverse. The page of wands, the three of swords, and the devil. It's a non-committal energy. I, I feel like a relationship right now, it it's not an option for some reason. King of swords, nine of wands, six of swords. The the problem here is that this person doesn't, first of all, it's, it, it's a lack of, a lack of communication, right? 
how this person communicates is different. And I, and I feel like this person isn't ready to admit their faults. I also feel like with the page of wands here, it's a non-committal energy. This is a very impulsive type of energy. And I feel like with the three of swords here, it's hard because there's a lot of betrayal between the two of you, right? You have the devil here. It's certain attachments, it, it, it's certain things, whether that's gambling, whether that's drinking, whether that's drugs, whether that's the fact that this person is just a liar, Gemini. There's something here where it's literally telling you that there's a lot of sadness here. And, and, I, and I feel like for you, it's like, how do you trust somebody like that? How do you trust somebody that's made you an option when you've given everything to them? How do you trust somebody that's kept so many lies and so many secrets, right? The devil, that's lies and secrets. That's illusions. I feel like there's a lot of illusions here. I also feel like with the two of wands reversed, there's no progression, right? It's like you guys, you and this person are moving backwards, where now there's not even an option. And, and I feel like you've discovered something where you've either discovered another partnership with this person or you've discovered that this just isn't going to work. One card here, please. Queen of my own world. And that's a full moon type of energy, as you guys can see. 24-6. Part of the problem here, Gemini, is that you need to regain control. I think that you need to take back your control of the situation and maybe you've done that. Maybe you're tired of sitting here listening to what this person is saying and you're like, yeah, I don't believe that, right? I think that you're challenging certain things. I think that, I think that you're starting to set certain limitations or limitations are being set where you're realizing that inside you have a lot of this pent up frustration, a lot of this pent up anger, or there is some type of pent up anger, or there's something inside that's been hidden where the outside people don't see that, right? On the outside, it looks like things are okay, but in the in reality, it's not. And I feel like this is you taking control and saying, hey, I'm not okay. The problem is on the outside, you feel lost. I, I, I don't know if that makes any sense, but... I feel like it's also, you feel powerless. That's also what I'm getting as a block. You feel like you're not in control. That whatever is happening on the outside, it, 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 it's, it's complete and utter chaos. I'm going to turn this upright so that I don't put it in the deck wonky. So just bear with me. All right, cool. Um, what about this bottom energy? What's currently a block for Gemini in this bottom energy? This bottom energy romantically? Okay, six of swords, nine of wands, king of swords, and the lovers. Um, you know, I think that communication, communicating, moving forward, I feel like there's secrets. There may be secrets that you have, Gemini, or secrets that you've not necessarily vocalized to this person or things that this person doesn't necessarily know about you um, or things that you don't really know about them. I feel like you you and this person need to get to know each other more, right? Nine of Wands, there's some distance, right? There may be some type of setback here between you and this person. Um, also, too, I, I don't know why, Gemini, but, but I feel like for you, because it's the lovers, you may still be trying to get over this energy, right? You may still be trying to work on that or still, you know, in a process where you're trying to, to get everything together, but I also think too, Gemini, it's like you're worried. I, I don't know why, but I get like a sense of worry that this person isn't who they say they are. I don't know why I'm getting that. Why is that a problem? Why, why is Gemini worried about that? The Seven of Cups. Honestly, Gemini, I think that you've been done so dirty consistently over and over and over again that... You're just scared that whatever you're seeing is an illusion. And, 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 and I think that you're worried that you're going to be another option to this person for some reason. It's like you're worried at, at what they're doing, like when they're not with you or when they don't speak to you. One more card here, please. Blocking these two. You know, it's interesting because both of these cards, Calling in the Storm and then the other one, it's kind of interesting, right? The other one was Queen of My World, and that was about, you know, setting limits, right? And feeling inside 
like you're trying to control trying to control your emotions but you can't and on the outside you feel like you have zero control then you have calling in the storm here right it's kind of a similar energy where it's really i don't know why but this is talking about not necessarily power coming from within inside but from things as a greater whole. So I think that you're trying to look at things from a different perspective. I think that you're trying to take a very aerial perspective where here it was a very emotional one. It, 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 was, a, it was a very, um, you know, personal one. Where here it's like you're trying to look at things from all areas. And I think that you're trying to pull and there's certain things that you're trying to release And I also feel like, too, you're trying to control your situation from a higher perspective. I feel like that is also a problem here. Okay, let's get your best potential outcome. And then we will go into the extended. What's the best potential outcome for Gemini and this top energy for the next couple of weeks? What's the best potential outcome for Gemini and this top energy over the next couple of weeks? Okay, seven of wands, strength, the queen of cups, and death. I feel like you're going to end up blocking somebody, Gemini. I feel like you're going to have to be very strong here and really stick to your guns about what you want and what you don't want. I also think, too, with strength, it, it's, it, it's being very prideful. It's having a sense of pride and it's ending things. I think that you need to stop being understanding. I think that you need to stop being so nurturing of this person, right? Queen of Cups. And I think that you need to understand that there's something here that needs a total like uproot, right? Th there's something here that has to change. And I feel like at the later end of the two weeks, there is some type of ending here where things are transforming. And I do sense that there is a new beginning but I feel like it's when you block this person, when you're strong enough to say, hey, like I deserve more. And I feel like intuitively, like why, what, what do you want me to tell Gemini uh, about this? What do you want me to tell Gemini about this? The magician, it's you. You're the one that needs to block this person. You're the one that, here we go, the Hierophant. And the Seven of Cups. You have to end this fantasy with this person. You have to let go. There, there's something here about you letting go of everything, right? Cancer energy likes to hold on to things. Even when it's toxic, cancer energy does not want to let go. You're supposed to let go here. There's too much confusion. There, there's too many illusions. There's a level of indecision. But here's the thing. You know what the right thing to do is. There needs to be movement away from it. This is where I feel like you're taking a deeper look into why we do the things that we do. Why, right? I feel like there is going to be some type of confession here, possibly, where somebody expresses why there was all this confusion. But ultimately, Gemini, I feel like you're taking a deeper road. I feel like you're taking a higher path here. Because if you want me to be honest, the next cards out are the devil and the three of swords. So here's your warning. If you don't take control of this situation... And you don't start processing things the way that they need to be processed. You're going to get hit with the devil and the three of swords. You're already, you already have this devil energy with this person. It's come up almost every spread. The three of swords has two. So there is an ending and it's an ending to this fixation. It's an ending to the confusion. It's an ending to this toxic attachment that's created these, tar these karmic ties and all these illusions, right? You have to end the temptation with this person. And I feel like you have to regain control of your mind and of your emotions because this person has been living rent free for a period of time and it's not healthy. And I think that if you don't, Gemini, there's going to be a big tower moment or there will be a tower moment or there already has been a tower moment. And right now it's about what you do moving forward. How do you make this work? Do you make this work? Nonetheless, there is an ending regardless. So whether that's an ending of how things were between you and them or whether it's an ending of you and them completely, there is a rebirth here and a new you that's being born. But something here is broken and it has to be fixed, Gemini. And I feel like the only person that can fix it is you. What about this bottom energy? What about this bottom energy? What's the best potential outcome for Gemini and this newer energy or this bottom energy romantically over the next 
couple of weeks. Okay, so you have the Ten of Cups, the Knight of Cups, Five of Cups. It's like it starts good, and then the Emperor. It's a lot of cups. How does this make Gemini feel? How does this make Gemini feel? The Knight of Wands, Two of Pentacles, Three of Wands. You're waiting for things to change. I think here's the thing. I feel like things are going to go really well with you and this person for a period of time, right? But I then, again, I feel like it, it, it's almost like too good, right? It's too good to be true. Like what's wrong here? Like something doesn't make sense. Is there a level of illusions? I also feel like too, th there's something here, like what, what, what causes this five of cups? What causes this five of cups? This is Mars and Scorpio. Overthinking, over processing the star, possibly an Aquarius. How does Gemini feel about this five of cups and the star? How does Gemini feel about this five of cups and the star? The ace of cups. That's weird. And the Three of Pentacles. How does Gemini's person of interest, how do they feel about this Five of Cups? The Tower and the Two of Cups. All right, so I don't feel like that's a bad energy. So so, so here's what I think, though, with the Five of Cups. I feel like, Gemini, there's something that you have to walk away from that wasn't, that wasn't serving you. Possibly this person, right? I also think, though, too, with the Five of Cups, let's take it, let's look at it as, like, Mars and Scorpio. Mars and Scorpio... First of all, that placement is very uh, sexual, first of all. But the other thing about that is like that placement is somebody that really wants something but doesn't say it, right? But they just do it. I feel like there's a lot of things that are happening underneath the scenes that you don't realize, especially with the emperor energy here. There, there's something coming in here for you that's providing you a level of stability, and also, too, I, I, I feel like you're, you're moving past this Five of Cups type of energy. What do you want me to tell them? How do you want me to finish this or finalize this for Gemini? Three of Wands. This is something you've been waiting for for a period of time. Wow. Twin Flame Awakening. Ace of Pentacles. Three of Cups. Six. Okay, so I think that this is good energy. There's something here where certain things are being awakened with you because you're receiving the emotional stability you need. I feel like there's a level of emotional stability here once you realize that there's somebody else that's behind you that will give you more than what this person has. I feel like there's a stable offer here. I feel like for some of you guys, you're gonna be entering into a committed type of relationship where there's a friendship, but also too, there's some type of emotional outbreak between you and this person where you have a level of clarity of where you and them are going. Wow. And it's to the lovers. So I feel like this is something that you've been waiting for for a period of time, Gemini. And honestly, I feel like this energy up here, I feel like you're going to be done. I feel like you're done. It's too much. And I feel like down here, there's something very beautiful that's beginning. So if you want to know um, about your partner and how they feel, their next actions, all of that jazz, please feel free to click on the link in the comment section below. It will take you straight to Vimeo or Patreon where you can purchase the extended. With that being said, Gemini, I love you guys so much. Happy, happy new year. And until next time, guys, um, I'll talk to you soon. Peace out, Girl Scout.